Within Transact POS, you've seen where we have a picture grid to the right of the point of sale and also within the rental module and a couple of other places this uh, grid is available. So the question is, how do you make the grid? Let's go explore that. So I'm going to cancel out of this example. And I'm going to go to POS File Maintenance. Then I'm going to choose Grid Layout POS. And again, like I was saying, there's also one for rental. But in this case, we're going to choose POS. And this is going to present the same screen you just saw to the right at point of sale. Now, let's look at the parts and pieces to this. These buttons are all grid buttons versus an item button. Well, what does he mean? If I right click on that button in this editor, I'll see that I have an option of types of buttons, item, grid, and none. So this item has been selected, this top left lumber, and as a caption of lumber, and also has been associated a picture, which is down in a particular directory in Transact under Data01 and Images, etc. And that's how this button gets created. So that is a grid button. If I left click in this lumber, I'm going to go into another layer below it. So that's what we see here. We see in this field, if I right click, yet more grid buttons. These are all grid buttons. And I can have a telltale understanding of what type of button I'm looking at because this particular one is an item button. I am aware of that because it shows me the quantity, the SKU, the C item ID or item number, and the retail price. So just by sight, you can pick up on which items are item buttons or grid buttons. If I go in further to this 2x4, I'm going to select left click. Now I see all but this one, layer 3, being items. So how did these items get here? So if I right click on this blank one, I'm going to choose item. It's default to none because there is none. I'm going to do item. I'm going to select this find right here. And then I'm going to select find again down below. And I'm going to put in 709, 709 just because. And there is a chain that I want. And I'm going to select select. And it's going to present, because the, in this case, the Dua Best catalog has images associated, it's going to bring that image in with it. I'll select Save. Then it will present that item in that field. If I don't want this layer 3 to be here, which I think that's just an example we were doing at one moment, how do you get rid of that? You just say None for that item. For that button, select Save, then it disappears. Then you can reassign. If you come back later, I can go create an item button or a grid button, which would go yet below that position. So the basic structure is that these are all item buttons. If we move back up. These five are grid buttons. This one is a item button. So you can lay this format out as you wish. If I don't want this here, I just simply say none and save. So let's go back out and let's see what this looks like once we've gotten that set up under ring sale. So we go into this lumber field in the grid. We go into 2 by 4 is where we had that set and there's my new chain that I had. Now, I can't edit these. Only thing I can do here in point of sales is actually select. So if I click on that, it's going to give me my listing, and there it is. I can buy the, by the roll or by the foot, so we're aware of all that process. So I can go through and check 
and click on these items and quickly get items into the screen. Thank you.